What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and the new 3DS regular size hasn't come to America yet. I know a lot of us are pissed off about that, although I know the Europeans got it so you dudes don't have much to worry about, but we're getting word that there's apparently third party accessories that are being added on top of the faceplates, or rather faceplates being made with awesome accessories in them. And there's an article that I found which explains more in detail about this, so let's take a look at it right now actually. And as you can see right here, it looks like the Game & Watch was modified onto a faceplate and you could just slide that on the new regular 3DS. This gives me one of the biggest erections that I've ever had in my life and it makes me angry at the fact that we haven't gotten any word of confirmation as to when we are getting the new regular here in the United States. Let's take a look at what the article is saying here. The Game & Watch themed cover plate seen above is being released in Japan soon. Okay. It's notable for being the first third-party cover plate with an actual design, not counting some clear transparent ones. However, at 2,970 yen, it will also be a bit more expensive than most other cover plates, since it comes with a working clock, alarm, timer, and thermometer. I love the concept, and I feel like this can be the pioneer for future third-party um, third, um, cover plates that use ingenuity like this to bring awesome ideas to the new 3DS regular. The new regular, I'm going to just call it that now, because, you know, new 3DS regular, that's a mouthful. New regular, that's fine with me. But um, 2,970 yen roughly translates to around $23, $24. So that's a bit more expensive than other cover plates on the market because I know those usually go for like 10 to $15. Definitely a big difference there. And you know, $10 is a lot more to pay. Like for example, this cover plate costs like $25 in US dollars at least. But you know, that's money that can be applied to a game. So is a cover plate really worth spending that much money on? I guess if you have the bank for it, then it makes sense. But I still love the concept and I can see myself getting really big into the cover plates if they start coming through with designs like this. This looks so good and the functionality of it seems really cool too. It doesn't seem like it actually plays Game & Watch games and I guess if they did that then they'd have a whole lot of copyright issues on their plate. So it's called the Plate & Watch, funnily enough. Um, you don't actually play any Game & Watch games on it. Like I said, they probably can't do that due to copyright, but still, the concept of the idea is awesome. And if there were more retro ideas with cover plates made like this, or maybe Nintendo could take a hint from these guys, then that would be awesome. Because things like this are what people are willing to spend their money on. And it also adds a whole other level of dimension when it comes to your console, your handheld, and um, just the way you view it, um, your enthusiasm about it. You know, the, the visuals mean a lot, man. And it looks pretty damn good, too. Um, it really goes with the, well with the retro feel, considering that it has the, um, the old-style Nintendo Red on the white. 3DS. It looks extremely sexual. I want to put my cock on it. It's an amazing handheld when it has that thing attached to it, and I'm just pissed off that it's a handheld that we'll never be seeing in the United States, at least from what we know right now. You gotta let me know what you think about this. What's your reaction to this in the comments below? I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.